All right, in this video, we'll be taking a look at Voyager Linux 12.04. It's based on XFCE. Now, I wasn't sure what to think of when I first heard about this distribution, because one of the early things I read about it was it has a lot of wallpapers in it. Wow, got a lot of wallpapers in my picture folder. So, but, nah, 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 I don't know. why was that ever said? Because um, what we have here is something quite well set up for XFCE, because they've kind of gone for the Ubuntu look here, we've got the orange and black. Got some nice easy to use features here, so got the Snap Searcher, so a bit like the Unity Searcher. But I suppose a great feature is the, well, the Conkey control here. It doesn't always work that well though, it doesn't, it doesn't actually save the settings though. Well, not that I know it does anyway, so I'm not that much of an expert on Conkey. Let's just scroll down and we'll put in Conkey Ubuntu. Hmm, doesn't that look nice? So there's also loads of other bits they've done here, so they've got a nice icon set, got some nice mouse cursors, along the bottom, hmm, it's a different sort of panel there, with the words instead of the icons. But when you open something up, or oh, even a nice page for the Google search here, in fact, um, yep, no, that's just the start page they've provided in Firefox. You can see everything up there is in icon form. So they've taken a few features there from Ubuntu, but put it all into XFCE. So let's take a bit more of a look at it. So along the top here, as I mentioned earlier, we've got the Snaps Launcher. Uh, let's just pop something in here, so uh, Solitaire. There you are, Aorart Solitaire. And it opens up easy enough. It's a good feature to have, because that was something I complained about with Zubuntu 12.04 missing, compared to what Ubuntu has. Anyway, further along we have this French radio station player, email and chat menu, volume control, network, time and calendar, and shutdown menu. Right clicking brings up this menu, so we've got a few controls from here, so it says here administrator, so I think I'll click on that, what does it actually bring up? Of course I put in the root password, it says the desktop file manager. Warning! You are using the root account, may harm your system. Okay, okay. We've also got the search, the conkey control. Uh, it's television that op just opened up through the browser though. Reparation AD. Okay, now you can see there's still some French words in here, but if you click on it, it's like this repair aid, I believe is what that means. Sorry, my French is no good. Bonjour, merci, and that's about all I know. Uh, anyway, we've also got this test security, and well, we've got the desktop settings, and as with XFCE, you've got the applications here. This bottom panel, you can also browse through the files. Well, I think you're supposed to be able to, because I clicked on it and it went straight back. So, maybe that doesn't work, maybe that's a bug, not sure. Got a few things you can launch from the bottom panel. But let's take a quick look at what applications it comes with. Well, oh, hello. <laughs> okay, so it does open up the document, but it's incredibly laggy. The buttons are on the left-hand side here. I just moved them over that way within the XFCE settings. Normally they're on the right-hand side with this distribution, but it comes with the Ubuntu styled. Oh, now I've got a second copy open. <laughs> oh, I think we've got a bug there. Anyway, back to the applications. So, settings few different settings here. Under accessories. Uh, I'm not going to read all these out, but hey, this one caught my eye. Tilde. All it is is just an overlay terminal. That's nice. I never even knew about that one. Under games, we've just got a few basic games here. Under graphics, so we've got the Ristretto Image Viewer, GFUM, Photo Organizer, GIMP, that's GIMP version 2.6. Dark table. I'm not sure what that one is. Organize and develop images from digital cameras. Sadly, I don't have any images on here, so I can't try it. So I've got document viewer, comic book reader, and simple scan. Under internet, that's so Firefox. Firefox only, there's no other browsers. Hot hot. Lightweight Twitter client. Okay. Pigeon, instant messenger. It's compatible with a few other different types of messenger, as it shows there. Thunderbird email, transmission for downloading torrent files, and the XChat IRC. Under multimedia, so we've got Totem Movie Player, V8 
VLC media player, mini tube, watch, watch YouTube videos, Clementine audio player, volume control, sound converter, audio recorder, Kazam for recording screencasts, Cheese, webcam viewer, PTV video editor, radio tray, XF burn, and a WinFF GUI for FFmpeg. Let's go try out mini tube. Pop in my name. Oh, yes, one of my most popular videos at the moment trolling the Indian Hello. phone scam. Hello. Cool, that works. Right, under office, so we've only got the lightweight equivalents for the office, so that's just Abbey Word and G Numeric, and a couple of other programs there. System, there's a few useful features here, so we've got the firewall configuration, so that's the GUFW firewall. We've got Grub Customizer, Bleach Bit, and a couple of others I hadn't heard of before. OS Uninstaller, hmm, I didn't know there was one of those. Jupyter Desktop Management Applet. I've opened it and it doesn't really do anything there. And lastly, you've got the Ubuntu Software Center. Here's what I thought of Voyager Linux 12.04. So easy to use, yep, yeah, reasonably easy enough. So easy to install, yep, yeah, styling, yeah, I think it looks very nice what they've done there with the orange and black. So kind of very like Ubuntu, but for XFCE instead. So customization, yeah, it's a fair bit you can even customize on that distro. Boot up speed, yeah, it's pretty quick. Number of bugs, yeah, I've marked it down a bit here because there was some lag, as you saw earlier, when I tried opening the documents from the bottom panel launcher. And had a crash in it when I was trying to do some updates through Synaptic. So selection of pre-installed apps, yeah, they go pretty well there, I think. Um, they were missing out some of the restricted extras, they had about half of them installed, but they didn't have like Flash on there, and there was a couple of other things, I forgot what they were now. A uh, number of apps available, um, they've added some extra repositories, but it's not really enough for me to give it top mark, so. And yeah, you've got the 32 and 64-bit versions. So the good point, so yeah, it's a very nicely styled XFCE distro that's very good for older or lighter weight systems. Uh, bad points. Did spot a few words in French that hadn't obviously been that hadn't been translated across to other languages. Um, yeah, majority of installation, majority of the system and the installation is in what well, English and you can choose other languages, so not really a huge disadvantage there. And the conky settings. Well, although they're very easy to change for that conky settings manager, they don't hold the settings between reboots. Yeah, I could learn how to use conky, but if they're going to put an easy to use an easy to use customizing app on there, I'd expect it to hold the settings between reboots. So overall though, 88%, however that's about the same score I gave Zubuntu 12.04. Uh, thanks for watching, I shall see you all later.